Okay, boom. Uh, this is uh, Josh Black here, and what I want to talk to you today is about uh, pretty much patience. Um, I think a lot of people, when they get into business, they're really focused on quickly getting out of their job or quickly, you know, changing to the next thing. Um, you know, quickly making a lot of money. And these are all good things, you know. You can make a lot of money very quickly using the right business. Um, and you should be focused on making a lot of money with the right business. Like, I've never seen anyone who's really going super slow actually make a lot of money because, you know, it gets pretty boring if you're super slow. But what I do see a lot is people who, you know, go fast, but then they get burnt out. And... You know, I see this with pretty much every skill. You know, you can learn any skill, but if you're so focused on getting to the end um, and not really enjoying the moment, um, you miss the entire journey. You know, you miss the entire uh, thrill, the, the emotions, the, the whole step. Like, you're really focused on getting to a place where, you know, eventually you know, you think that this will make you happy, but, you know, at the moment, you know, you're sad, you know, you're lonely, depressed, but you don't see what you really have because you're so focused on getting to the end. But when you have patience, then when you're going along the journey, then you can have a clear mind because you're not so, you know, distressed that, oh, I didn't make money as much as I wanted this month. Oh, I, I didn't... Um, really you know make it this appointment or this interview or something that you wanted to do so it's very important that you have the patience because you know in the short term you you do want to be taking as much as much action because like look if your employee you know didn't put something on time you would you'd, you'd be pretty upset and you know I would be as well but in the long term if you have an employee that you know does everything right but then just leaves because they're so focused on you know getting some result and they're like oh, I'm not good enough and things like that you know they will quit so you got to see yourself as that employee you know you're the person who if you push yourself so hard you'll get something you know but if you go so hard that you know it puts you into a place where you're not happy anymore then that will take away all the value that you wanted to do like I say business is more of like a marathon it's not really a sprint like there it's like a sprint in marathon's body you know you're sprinting you're sprinting you're sprinting but you have to realize at the end of the day it's a marathon you know the best person is going to win at the end the one who brings the most value will be there at the end so it's more about the values you bring to the marketplace. If you're a person who is just not there for, you know, the people and helping them, you know, at the end, it's going to show. But if you're there and you're always helping people and you're always giving, you know, your time, you know, I get from people all the time, oh my God, I can't believe you called me up. No one else does this, you know. I can't believe you're, you're taking the time to speak to me and, and give me some answers to my problems. Well, th this is what it's about, you know. It's about taking your time, giving the value to the marketplace, and being patient, you know. Eventually, everything will pay off. You know, I kind of feel like, I believe kind of in karma, you know. You do good, and good is going to come back. Like, I feel like the whole world is connected. Like, if you do your best, then the best is going to come back to you. Like, that's why whenever I have an opportunity to introduce some one person to another, it always comes back because you know there's there's always that karma that good karma and even if that person doesn't bring anything back that person could be a complete dick leave you from your life but at the end you know that you just did something good and that always helps it's it's crazy to me to think of these people who you know are so focused they don't even think about helping other people you know and things like that but we're not we're not as a human civilization we're not that type of people you know we're built to be in a tribe so every time you're doing good it's part of the tribe like if you 
Think about what would a tribe do? There would be the hunters, there would be the gatherers, there would be the people who just keep the home, you know, safe. So it's all about, you know, focusing on everyone as a tribe. So even when you do good for one person, that's eventually going to come back, you know, because we are in a tribe. You know, we're a 7 billion person tribe because of the internet, the interweb, you know, uh, world wide web. But it doesn't matter because we're all connected. Um, and the more connected and the more, you know, helpful we are to other people, the better, you know, kind of, kind of things you're bringing back to you. Um, and this goes all the way, you know, even, even when something's not going good. And this is why it's all about patience, you know. You've got to have the patience that, you know, you're doing good and, you know, right away it doesn't look like anything's happening. And this is why at the end of the day, you see the people with the organic reach are the ones that win in the game. It, the people who are so focused on advertising, dollars, you know, spending, you know, winning product, trending. These people, you know, they'll, they'll get a trending product. They'll get a winning product, maybe. Maybe they'll make even $10,000. But at the end of the day, the person who's going to really win are the people who are giving back. Like, I've never seen someone who hasn't given back but has been able to make it really big. Even the people who are getting the trends because when you help people, you're learning for yourself. And you can't help someone unless you're really passionate about it, right? Or else you won't give the right advice. So you have to sometimes make the mistake yourself just to give that advice. And that's what kind of creates this amazing journey for yourself. When you start stop thinking, oh man, I'm going through failure, I'm going through trouble, oh my god, I can't handle this. Well, this is your job, you know, you're like a, you're a firefighter, you, you're putting out the fires. You know, even, even, you know, Elon Musk, you know, all these people, you know, they, they consider themselves firefighters. Um, every entrepreneur, they're, they're just a firefighter and they're putting out the fires. There's always things going to happen. That is the life of an entrepreneur. You know, your life is meant to be complicated. If it wasn't complicated, everyone would do it. You know, that's why it's you. You're, you're the, um, you're, you're the, you're the outcast. You know, you're the, you're the trailblazer. You're the, uh, you know, you're the one who, who makes his, his own journey. And this is why it's a completely different type of journey to anything else. You're not that person who is like, if you want to follow someone else's steps, you can do that and you can make, you know, 45K um, and, you know, live a pretty decent life. Um, but, you know, even if you're living that life, you're still going to make the same mistakes and you're still going to be losing a lot of money because, you know, at least when you create your own path, you get to make more mistakes than someone who's stuck, you know, making mistakes for someone else and you don't actually learn anything. So it's so important that, you know, you're patient. And I'm sure, like, even even those people in a, in a, in a job, you know, you still got to learn how to invest, right? And that's a business too. Maybe you're not spending as much money, but you still have to invest, right? Like, you got to learn, is property is the right thing for you, you know? Is stocks the right thing for you? Is just keeping cash the right thing for you because all these things have positive and negatives you know you you put some money into money and all of a sudden you know what's gonna happen you start spending it on stupid things because it's so liquid that you know something happens all of a sudden you're like okay I'm gonna spend that and but by, by the time you know it you bought a whole room full of clothes you don't even know what to do with that or you know you got stocks and all of a sudden you know it goes down the blue chip stock blockbuster, boom, out of business. You buy a property, you know, recession, it goes down. Like these things happen. Like, of course, my personal opinion is, you know, I do love real estate investing, but in terms of all of this, I think the most important thing is just being patient. Like even my, you can see my choice of investing of real estate is a very patient, long-term strategy. Like I'm not in it, for like crypto, you know, like you've seen the people in crypto 
are the most impatient people and I've seen the most people lose so much money the most people who are very patient people you know these people who you know have created big businesses over many years you know testing trial doing this stuff and all of a sudden they get into crypto you know goes down boom everyone goes out this is like it, it's exactly the same for everything like but you see there's other people who you know how that how have they become millionaires and billionaires from crypto because they started at the beginning you know when it was zero cents they just let it ride you know it kept going up kept going up going down going up going down going up and you know they're like oh how come you didn't spend it well you know they're patient you know and they took the time and didn't spend the money you know they took the time and worked at the business again and again they took the time and just kept working so this is why it's all about a patience game it's about being patient and also being like a sprinter you know you do the thing you know you get into crypto fast right and then you start making money you get into property fast and then you make the money you get into into stocks fast and then you make the money you get into business fast and then you make the money this is just how it works you got to get in quick like if you look at the prices of like google ads these days compared to what they were maybe you know years ago when it first started it's crazy like dramatically change everything has changed the price of everything has changed because you know people have started to get into this you know these things aren't so complicated anymore and that's what kind of brings in a new level because now the people inside are patient you know like I'm sure if you you seen someone on on Google they're probably gonna stay there but it's a patience game you got to be patient and stay with it uh, you know sprint get your thing started because you know you gotta you gotta make a habit you know like the best way of making a habit there's this book of how to create a habit how uh, creating habits and, and something like that you can buy it at any bookstore literally every single bookstore has the same book and i'm sure you've walked by barnes and nobles you know uh, any of these kind of bookstores you even have amazon if you know you're far away you know you're in the middle of nowhere you can find a book how to create a habit and all you have to do is just start doing it start doing it for 30 days after three days you build a habit this is what it's about it's not about over complicating it it's about just creating the habits that are going to lead you to the next level now it's it's maybe difficult for most people to you know even get that first step but that's why you know you have someone like me to show you look you can do it like I've done it you know there's there's more videos out there look you can search how do I create a habit how do I how do I stay patient and this is just the most important thing just you know even if you have to tell your friends even if you have to you know um, put a band around your arm and you know flick it every time that that you don't do it like every day that you don't do it then just flick yourself or every time um, you know you in the morning you have like an alarm do it you know um, you know put you have a calendar to do it so this is why it's so important you just you've got to do the work you've got to do the the investing you've got to take the steps and eventually patiently these things will gonna work out you know you could be work you could be investing in the worst thing but you know if you hold on to that thing long enough you'll become a millionaire and it's just a game of patience like it's a long it's it's a long term and that's what people don't like they don't like waiting a long time to get the results but eventually everything pays off and the people who are in it just for the quick money they're always going to get weeded out and the people in it for the long term they're gonna stay in and they're gonna be the successful ones so it's just about staying in it make sure you win it and um, that's the end of today's video